The best part about this little device is you can use it for a dual PC setup and you know, you can see it's battery powered too. It's got two headphone jacks, so one line out for your stream PC. It's got a bunch of line ins options here. You can choose to turn the mix on or off. So you can choose whether that goes into your stream or not, but you'll definitely be able to hear whether this light is on or off. So you can hear your stream alerts in your headset, but your stream won't hear it and it won't loop back. You'll only hear it once in the stream. This is a really nice device. Let's talk about it. Tackstar did send this to me for free to review. They also did send me a pair of headphones. Uh, this is the Tackstar HF850. 580 gosh um, they did send this to me for free as well to check out and we are going to be giving away a pair of these 240 dollars headphones so let's take a look and dive into this this video is going to focus a lot on the scm1 which is a pretty fantastic little device and it's advertised as let me read this out right sound card tailored for network karaoke YouTube, TikTok, live broadcasts, suitable for smartphone, tablet, PC. You know, there's a lot with this little guy. So let's take a look and see if it lives up to expectations and if it's worth $140. 140? 150. <laughs> Let's get into it. Now the Tackstar SCM1 is a pretty cool little device. It's $150 and the first thing you'll notice about it is it's really small. It's very thin and compact, which I like, but you know, they also came with these headphones, which are $250 headphones or $240. The Tackstar HF580, which are hi-fi headphones. Apparently there's a lot of hype about them. You know, they're they're really good. As far as I've heard, they're, they're really nice sounding headphones. And We'll be giving away a pair of these headphones to uh, anyone in the US. Um, unfortunately, I can't do a worldwide giveaway for these, but anyone in the US, if you have a US address, that rhymes, I'll be giving away a pair of these $240 headphones. So if you want a chance to win, I'll leave a giveaway link down below. Entries close on June 9th, and then you know we'll pick a winner a day later. So enjoy that. Um, but let's get started with this guy. I'm gonna put these headphones on and I'm gonna use this they're pretty good. Now, one thing that you might initially notice about this Tackstar SCM1 is it's got uh, touch pads here or, or sound pads, I should say. And that's pretty neat. Not a lot of um, sound cards have these or audio interfaces, which is a really neat feature. One thing that I do find a bit of an issue with these though, is that you can't change the, the volume level of these unless you reduce your mic input level here. But that's also gonna adjust the microphone that you have set up here. So not entirely ideal. Now, one other way to adjust the sound pad volume levels is to use the button here, duh, which essentially only works if you're talking into the microphone. This isn't active when you're just not talking or there's no audio going into whatever microphone you have connected to this. It only works when you're talking. So it reduces that audio. Let me show you a little bit of what I mean by that. Now, this is initially gonna be pretty quiet because I'm using the Shure MV7, which is a very gain uh, heavy microphone. So it requires a lot of gain. This device doesn't put as much gain as I would like, you know, similar to the Go XLR, but you're not out of luck there. You can use a cloud lifter or some type of gain booster between the XLR cable you have attached here and the device itself. But let me show you what these sound pads sound like if I'm not talking without the duck button selected. And that's assuming that I am funny which i'm not but that's pretty loud compared to the level right now and there's no editing to this right now except with this sq button which adds some filter and eq i actually hear it a little bit louder but i also hear the room tone as well if i stop talking And then you can hear when I put it on, it reduces all of the room tone and adds a bit of EQ to my voice pretty nicely. I like this button. It's instead of doing all the filters and EQ myself, it does it all for me. Now I'll show you a bit more on what it's like to have a microphone that doesn't require as much gain. I have a $34 microphone here and I'm going to show you what that sounds like. And you don't need an audio booster or a cloud lifter to be able to make this work, which also would allow you to reduce the volume settings on the uh, sound pads here so you, they're not as loud which is really nice i'm also going to show you how to add custom sounds to a b and c so you can add your own custom sound effects and i'm going to show you how to do that with the app it has its limitations but i'll show you how to do that but first 
Well, I mentioned that with this Tackstar SCM1, you can use it for a dual PC stream. Now, it's got some line in and line outs here, and that's really helpful. But if it doesn't seem to be working for you, you can obviously join the Discord community. Link is down below if you need some help. But also, another solution is to have OBS Studio on your gaming PC open there, minimize, and just add your browser source with your alerts in there. That way, you can hear it there, uh, and you don't have to worry about not being able to hear your alerts if you're not using this little guy. But speaking about alerts, if you haven't used visuals by impulse before they're one of the best out there when it comes to overlays and stream alerts for your live streams and videos they have a lot of free assets on their website which i use all the time including their minimal alert maker which is free and you don't have to use any editing software of any kind which is really amazing and truly unique you can use this for streamlabs obs or you can use it for stream elements and drag it into obs studio all kinds of solutions there they have some premium alerts as well which start as low as five dollars which is like a Twitch subscription. That's really crazy and amazing. I use their alerts on stream all the time. And if you want 5% off, use the link down below in the description. You'll get 5% off automatically applied to that coupon code with that link. And that does support the channel, but Visuals by Impulse isn't paying me to say this in any way. Aside from that affiliate link down below. Go ahead and upgrade your stream. Your viewers are going to love it. And I noticed more revenue generated on my streams when I upgraded my alerts too. Okay, so now that you have the best alerts and overlays for your streams from VBI, let's go ahead and choose custom sounds and I'm gonna show you how to set that up with the app so you can use A, B, and C to adjust all of these sounds and you know choose whatever you want. You can add custom ones or pre-made ones from the app. And by the way, if you're enjoying the video so far or just finding it helpful, please leave a like, that'd be appreciated. It's free and takes no effort. So once you've downloaded the Tackstar SCM1 app, I download the V2 option on the website. They don't give you any links or an easy way to find it but it does tell you in the user manual here that you can use the app it doesn't give you a link i searched for it on the website and i'll leave a link down below to the download and uh, it brings you up to this app here you've got a whole bunch of options here which are pretty loud it's also because i have my record level up here if i reduce my record level here it'll reduce the audio level of the pads and and the software it also reduces the sound of my microphone so that's not ideal especially with this microphone i don't have a cloud lifter to it so it's going to be quieter than usual but then again i will show you what it sounds like with a cheaper mic that doesn't require any um gain increasing devices it's called a cloud lifter murray and this microphone also requires phantom power whereas the mv7 doesn't i'll talk more about that but in this app you can also add custom sound effects here which i've got uh you can click the plus button select whatever it is and once you've got it in here you can right click and save to device and choose whichever button you want and in the case that i make a funny joke i can pretend I'm funny. So yeah, I don't know how to use it properly because I don't make very good jokes as my wife tells me my jokes, my dad jokes are not good. <laughs> Maybe because I'm not a dad yet. Now let's talk about the mic itself. When I first unboxed this, it had a mini XLR input on this device. And I was a little nervous when I first saw that, but I realized further into the unboxing that they do have a mini XLR to XLR adapter, which is obviously ideal. A lot of XLR microphones are pretty popular. Now I can see why they would have a mini XLR input on this device. It's pretty thin and compact and light. They wanna be able to keep it that way. I, I totally get it. And having this adapter isn't that big of a deal. It's a little clunky, but you know, it, it does the job and it gets it done just fine. Now, like I mentioned, audio gain on this little device, it's especially for a gain hungry microphone, you're going to have to have a cloud lifter to increase the gain of the uh, gain hang hungry, hangry. <laughs> I get hungry. Microphones like the Shure MV7 or the Shure SM7B, which is behind me on my microphone boom arm. Now you can add filters and EQ in OBS Studio with this microphone, but that would mean you wouldn't be able to use the sound pads on here because they're going to be too loud. Because if you're increasing your audio in OBS Studio uh, for a, a gain hungry microphone, and if you don't have a cloud lifter in the system, going to increase your sound pads to an un healthy level your audiences your their ears are going to be completely blown out so getting a cloud lifter with this they usually range between 100 you can probably get 80 dollar one and, and that should be just fine but you're going to need that now with this microphone here i'm going to turn on the fan oh. Oh, that was so loud <laughs> oh my gosh i blew my ears out there 
Oh my goodness, so I can reduce my mic level here significantly. So now when I talk into the microphone, I'm gonna put this mic volume up a little bit. There we go. So the microphone volume right now is, is going between negative 10 dB and negative 5 dB. It's also got a filter and EQ on it with this button. So this microphone sounds really good. It's a $35 microphone. And uh, I do have a video on how to add filters and EQ in OBS Studio with this microphone. Link is in the top right in the cards. And the audio sounds pretty good. If I take off the filter and EQ, ooh, that's a big difference. You can hear that it cuts out all the background noise, especially from my computer behind me. Now, this is a very basic setup, but it, it does the job very well. You can hear the difference. Now, you also have auto-tune with this. So if I turn it on, oh, it's, I can sing. And you've got a whole bunch of, oh my goodness, keys here. It sounds weird when I'm just talking. I'm gonna turn that off now. And you got a bunch of auto-tune buttons there. Now we've got the effects here, which allows me to add different effects to my voice. So if I turn it on, it's got MC. I'm not entirely sure what it's abbreviated for. We've got ring, so you know this is on the phone. If you want a phone, you've got a, a woman's voice. It's it's making me sound weird in my headphones. And then we've got oh. <laughs> I love laughing with this voice and you got a oh okay so you got a, a bunch of options there for your your effects now i can notice that it cuts my microphone out a little bit when i switch this button so it, it it doesn't get everything i might have to use the microphone above me to substitute that part so you can still hear what i'm saying and then you know let's see how you know that audio volume is not too bad for the sound pads when i'm using a microphone that doesn't require a lot of gain because i've reduced the microphone input here now if i want to i can reduce how much obs studio on my computer needs to or or receives the the level of audio from this whole device so if i reduce the record level or increase it it's going to reduce and increase that volume in obs studio for everything that goes into this board now this mix button can be pretty helpful right now if i've got it off it's going to allow me to take out any audio that's going in through the what do they call this the uh, accompaniment connector which is a, a strange name for it but this middle one here it adjusts if I want to have the audio from that channel going into my computer here which is nice for a dual PC stream especially if you want to hear your alerts and it doesn't loop back into your stream software so this is a pretty good solution for a dual PC setup if I turn it on now all that audio that's going into that input is going to go into the USB uh, it's going into the USB and into my OBS software by the way if it's off my OBS isn't going to sense the audio going into this channel but i can still hear it in my headphones which is really nice again you can get your alerts from your stream pc into here and then into your software and then you won't hear it on there you know the alerts won't loop back but you'll still be able to hear your alerts in your headphones now one other nice thing you can do as well is it's got two headphone outputs on this so i can send a line out from here into my stream pc so that the stream can hear my microphone they can hear my game even my sound effects uh and uh it'll work just fine sending that audio because you usually you want an output and an input on this for your dual PC stream setup. So with the stream PC, you get the line in onto here on the back, and then you got the line out from here, which is like another headphone output, which I'm glad they have too, especially for if I have my wife on stream, it's pretty cool. You have that out on this, going into the line in on the stream PC so that they can hear your mic, your game, and everything else. Now, operation time with this thing is pretty decent, actually. Uh, it says here approximately seven hours with 48 volt phantom power turned off. When it's turned on, it'll last about five hours. So that's actually still pretty decent. Now, I have plugged it into USB. I can unplug it and it'll still be going, which is actually really nice. It's pretty portable, so I can use it for more than just a, a laptop here. I can use it for a portable stream, maybe, if I'm you know going around and doing a, an IRL or just chatting type of thing on the streets, which I've never done before, but you've seen the people do that. Now, Taxtar SC M1 is a pretty good little device. It does have its shortcomings here and there, but overall, it's a pretty decent product here. I would prefer to see it maybe $110 or maybe around the $100 mark for what you get here, um, but it's still a really good product and... Uh, is it overpriced? I wouldn't say that. There's a lot of options on the back here with inputs. So overall, I think it's a pretty decent product. I'm gonna stick with Elgato because they've got some really great software that comes with their hardware, like the Wave XLR that I'm using right now. But this is a great alternative if you, you know, want it.
It's got a great dual PC solution and it's battery powered so you can take it anywhere you want. Now remember, we've got the HF580 headphone giveaway right now. Uh, it's only available in the US, I'm sorry. Textar was only able to send it to the US, but the giveaway is not gonna be going on for long. It ends on June 9th, so it's pretty close to ending. There's only gonna be a few days to get into this. Follow the link down below. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Leave a like and comment down below and uh, you'll get a chance to win this. But make sure you follow that giveaway link down below you're not going to be entered if you don't enter through that because that's how I get your details. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. But until then, make something great.